Hi, I'm Sean. Kai contributed a great deal to our presentation, but he's not here today. So, have you ever wanted to do an integral but like ascended? Maybe you want some two or three dimensional integrals? Well, now you can. Introducing line integrals. Here's a relatable scenario. So, it's a normal sunny day and you're walking in the park and suddenly you have a sudden inclination to find the total mass of a wire given its linear density with respect to the position along the wire, which we should affectionately name C. You may relate to this relatable, very relatable scenario, but they may not have known how to solve it. Well, here's the solution to all your problems. We have the familiar's integral symbol, and then there's a little c, which is the curve we're integrating along. Then, the integrand has the linear density with respect to the position along the wire, and we're multiplying that with dr. Like the integrals we've dealt with in class, you can imagine dr as infinitely tiny pieces of vectors along the curve c. This makes line integrals like definite integrals but with more dimensions. Here's an example problem to demonstrate a practical, everyday application in physics. It is good practice to employ the art of pigas when dealing with a physics problem. We start with the picture of a sheep moving downwards along this curve, and we want to know how much work the Earth does on a sheep as it moves. We were given that the mass of the sheep is 120 point kilograms, and that the acceleration due to gravity of the sheep is downwards at 9.81 meters per second squared. The sheep is moving along the parametric function x of t equals 100 times t minus sine t, and y of t equals 100 times negative t minus sine t, between times t0 equals 0, 0.0 seconds and t1 equals 10.0 seconds. The r unknown is the work done on the sheep, and we can use the equation w equals the integral of f dot dr to find that. Starting with the work formula, w equals the line integral along the parametric curve c of the force dot r dr. The force is constant, it's just the force due to gravity directly downwards, so the x component is 0 and the y component is negative. For dr, we can use a clever trick where we multiply it by dt over dt, which we can re rearrange to dr over dt times dt. So what's dr over dt? Since r is just a vector along the parametric, we can differentiate it to get dr over dt, which is equal to dx dt comma dy dt. So since we changed the integral to be with respect to dt, we need to change the bounds of the integration from a line integral along curve c to a definite integral between t0 and t1. Then we can shove in the force and dr by substitution. If we recall from analysis, a dot product between two vectors is where you multiply the x's and the y's and add them together. Conveniently, since the x component of the force is 0, we only need to multiply the y components. It's given that y is equal to 100 times negative t minus sine t, so to get dy over dt, just differentiate it and then plug and chug it into the integral. There's a few constants we can move out of the integral, giving us a manageable 100 mg times the integral between t0 and t1 of 1 plus cosine t dt, which should be doable. So we can just plug in the given values, and it seems that the Earth has done 1.1 times 10 to the third kilojoules of work on the sheep. The sig figs are correct, and the answer makes sense. I hope this added knowledge on line scrolls will aid you on your journey through life. Thanks.